Ease of movement through the space. Basically having good throughs through your space is what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna teach you how to create the perfect backyard, but you have to know right now how important it is to move through the space with ease and with a good flow. So I cannot talk to you and tell you how many times I've been to a backyard with a homeowner that has tried to do it themselves and they end up putting everything in one area where you can hardly move through the space. So look at some of these photos here and just listen to some of the solutions that we came up with to have a nice easy flow through the space from destination to destination. And once you're in that destination, how you're going to enjoy that destination. So let's start this ease of movement video with this project. We see here it's a smaller backyard. It's a very long, narrow backyard, but it's not very deep. So the proximity to the house, to the fence is very shallow. It's not very deep. So really you have to get creative with how you're gonna move through the space. So look at what we did here. Here's the door. Now the door obviously captures your attention and pulls you right outside to the outdoor dining space, the outdoor grill there, the whole grill outdoor kitchen. But then look at what you do is you turn around and you all of a sudden are invited over to this, kind of this outdoor living room. Just imagine if we would have structured this furniture a little bit different. Maybe even put it in the couch against the window, the two lounge chairs over by the flower beds with a table in the middle. All of a sudden you would have really hindered the ability to flow through the space. But do you see the way it kind of opens it up? But now just look at the pathway, the way it just is kind of tucked in over there by the couch. It makes you want to walk down the pathway and find out what's around the corner. And that's the trick of outdoor design. So look at the little surprise that you have when you get to the fire pit, turn the corner and there's the sport court. So you can imagine people there hanging out at the seat wall, fire pit, watching people play basketball. And all of a sudden you have this wonderful flow through the space from one destination to the next destination. And this is what I really want you to think about. How are you going to flow from one space to the next space? It really needs to be thought about right now. So take a look at this project as our next flow through project that we're gonna explore. Now, the, the main highlight of this project really was the before pictures. So the way the landscape was designed prior. Now this was done by a professional landscaper professional landscape design and build firm. But look at what they did, and I just wanna highlight this with the mistakes that they made. They put everything in almost the worst place that they could. They put the fire pit almost right in the middle of the patio, and it really added no secondary destination. So the homeowner hired us, we did a beautiful design for them. And that's the other thing I just want to say is make sure that you do the design that just don't skip that aspect of designing your space. It's so important. So we did the design. We gave them a destination detached structure, outdoor kitchen with a bar, we gave them a beautiful fireplace destination, which is going to pull you right outside of the house there. But then we have the dining right outside of the main double doors there and then a whole fire pit with seat wall destination. But the thing I wanna really highlight is just how well the flow through the space is. You are gonna easily flow from one spot to the next, even to the upper grass area there to play some yard games. You can easily meander and flow through the space without having to be overly cramped. Okay, so now take a look at this project. You have this freestanding structure with a monster double-sided fireplace, front and center, grabbing your attention, pulling you outside to the space. So they, this homeowner had a beautiful 
backyard space prior to us doing any work here. They had the patio space, they had their own little area for dining, but really they lacked anything else in the space. So really all they did was just come out occasionally to kind of enjoy an evening barbecue. But now look at what they have. They have a whole outdoor entertaining area for not only them and their family, but for any friends that come over. So of course that double-sided fireplace pulls your attention out. It, it really makes you just explore the space. You can, you can imagine coming out on the, there's two chairs on the front side, but as you walk around, you have a whole covered space, a TV there on the interior of the double-sided fireplace, areas to hang out at, the outdoor kitchen, with this beautiful extended bar. Then you have the pizza oven destination. So again, flow through the space. Now with the pizza oven, that's gonna be great for the person cooking, but look at the way we just put a couple of pillows there along the seat wall on either side of the pizza oven. Now with this project, we have a whole nother pathway. And that's a nice thing about kind of creating flow is you want to kind of move people from one space to the next and a pathway is a great way of doing that. So with this one we have a pathway over to a secondary kind of hangout zone with the fire pit destination. So we put the seat wall in, we have a nice backdrop with the trees and the plants, but really the overall space it just invites you to flow through the space and explore the different areas of your outdoor living space. Now here is a property that has a front yard entrance that really directs your attention to certain destinations as well as a whole backyard. But we're going to start off in the front yard and we're talking again about ease of movement or flow through the space. You want to really direct people the way you want them to go. So look at the way this project looked before we started anything. It was just a courtyard, front courtyard house. Now I remember meeting with a homeowner in this situation and I said, how amazing would it be to do a reflection pond right in the front? Because he, he designed this whole house around that eyebrow above his front door. So as you enter the home, we direct them away from going directly to the door around that reflection pond. And it just lets them see the architecture of the home in a whole nother way. But really, as you walk up the stairs, you don't really realize as you're walking towards that pond, what's there. So it's a surprise and it pulls you, it makes you flow away from the front door and to explore a little bit more of that front courtyard. So these are some of the tricks that I want you to think about as you're designing your space. Is there any way that you can direct people's attention away from where they're going? Just pull their attention, even if it's for a moment, pull their attention away from what they're looking at. In this situation, it's the front door. And to be able to give them a secondary view of that, how amazing is that? Now as we go to the backyard, you might see that that eyebrow goes all the way through the house to the backyard as well. So the, it's really interesting the way we were able to add that architectural element into the landscape. So we did those two curved pathways, again, directing your attention, directing the flow to match the architecture of the house. We also match the arc of the patio to match the eyebrow of the house. But really the flow through the space in every way, it just keeps you moving from one space to the next. As you walk out of those doors, you have the outdoor kitchen there, front and center with a bar. You can either enjoy looking out of the patio or you can enjoy looking back into the patio towards that fireplace. Then we put the whole outdoor kitchen cabinetry right there by the door. And of course we put the fire pit just a little bit further out to be able to make it a secondary destination with ease of movement through the space. Now, another cool little feature is that that fire pit, we actually match the architecture of the home 
with the eyebrow to bring that element into the outdoor living space. Look at what is at the end of the pathway here. We have this beautiful water feature, it's this beautiful hot tub, built-in hot tub with a water feature into that. Okay, so now let's look at this project. Take a look at the way it looked before, in fact. You just had basically just a standard patio right outside of a sliding glass or that double door area. Now look at what we were able to accomplish with the build out here. Obviously this is with good design, creating a space, but really you want to think about the way to flow through the space all the way in the design phase. So with the added structure there, it opens up light for the window from the bedroom, but really you want to be able to walk out of those double doors. You want to be able to maneuver through the space well, but you really want to be able to pull, be pulled from one space to the next. So we truly provided the, an outdoor living room that will definitely pull anybody out of the interior of the house out to that beautiful outdoor living room. But then once we're in that room, look at what you have is you have the dining room. That's a very, it's like a magnet to be able to pull to that space. And then the bar, we have those beautiful bar stools there that are just gonna attract your attention with good design style. So we have the raised planter beds there on the edges of the patio. And really those are just a kind of a curiosity. So you might just go out to just explore what's out there, what's further out. And you'll see one planter bed, it'll, it'll capture your attention and, and maybe lead you to the next raised planter bed. And you just kind of all of a sudden go out for this therapy in your outdoor space. All right, I saved one of my favorite flow through from point A to point B, multiple destination properties for this very last property. Really, you have from all the way on the upper deck, a beautiful upper deck with multiple destinations in that space alone. But when you're up there enjoying the views of the evening and you look out over this beautiful landscape, what do you wanna do? as you're watching this. All I would wanna do is, is go meander through the space and check out all of the different destinations, the different areas that were created. Now, as you're walking down, you see this beautiful water feature. When I was there doing the photo shoot, I couldn't believe how many birds were attracted to this space. So not only you will be attracted and wanna flow through the space, but nature is gonna to wanna to flow and hang out through this space. Look what just is a little bit further over as you flow through, meander down a little bit further to this fire pit destination. Now look at the way the flow of the space is here. So we built the, the, the benches in the back. You have seating on the hillside there against the wall. But look at what you also have built in swing on the other side. And again, this is a video on ease of movement flow through your space. Even when you're in this tiny little deck space, look at how easy it is to flow from one little space to the next. A little bit further down, you're drawn to the pergola. Now you can access the pergola from either direction. We built in stairs on one side and there were stairs already coming through the wall on the other side. So again, another trick, multiple ways to get from one point to the next. So right next to that pergola is the garden space. So right there you have the built-in therapy, just be able to go grab some vegetables, do a little bit of weeding in your raised beds, just giving you that nice therapy. Another destination down to the gabion walls there. Now in the Gabion walls, we did a built-in bench. Again, that's just getting another flow from point A to point B to pull you further into the landscape. And then of course you can watch the kids hang out there or, or enjoy the trampoline destination. This is a, such a fun property to show from all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. You could have that flow, you could have that ease of movement from point A to point B, 
to really fully utilize your outdoor living space. So I think you now know the importance of having a lot of movement and flow through the space. But now we're gonna to talk to you about how to plan your perfect backyard space to how to entertain in that space. A whole video coming up next on how to entertain in your backyard. I know you're gonna love this. I bet you you've already skipped ahead and are watching it right now. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Would you mind just taking the time to like the video and then hitting that bell notification and just comment below what you've appreciated with this series. We'd sure appreciate it. See you soon in the next video. Even within a small little area, I wanna say that again. So here we are, I hope we gave you, no, I just waited. Take 2007. Here, stop. Let's, at, talking about ease of flow through the space. So we're talking about ease of 